Oh, Thailand variants. You know, everyone complained when Mattel shifted from Chinese production to production in Thailand because the cars are very different and some of them are extremely different. And so a lot of people are like, ah, the decals are blurry. I don't like how they look, blah, 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 blah. Did anyone stop buying cars? Like, please let me know. I don't think anybody stopped buying cars. So maybe we need to cool down our complaints a little bit. Like even me, I think I need to put myself in check a little bit because I love cars. I'm never going to stop buying them. <laughs> even if they now start making production in, I don't know, Peru, South America, I don't care. As long as I get my cars, I am happy. And today we're going to look at one of the cars that got, you know, changed from China to Thailand. Here is the Chinese HJ Hollis, the N2O Cola Next Gen Piston Cup Racer. And today we're going to take a look at the Thailand version that was just recently released for the 2021 Desert Horizon year. So yeah, guys, welcome to another Disney Docket production. Got the whole N2O Cola team out here. So, I mean, I guess I gotta perform. I got a whole audience, so let's go. This is the first time they used his art besides in the 2020 Color Changer release. He was previously only released in a Single in 2017 and a multi-pack. I believe he was in at least one multi-pack. Got the metal signification up here, even though he's the exact same as before. People think that metal means it's different. It's not. As seen in Cars 3. Yes, Mattel, you're right. And in fact, they got all of them right here. All these cars are in Cars 3 and Cars 3 only. You got Smokey, Jackson Storm, Track Damage Cruiser Ramirez, the Bumper Save Tractor, Sheldon Shifter, Pushover, Jambalaya Chimichanga, and Hot Rod Junior Moon. I'll be right back with this guy all opened up. So here we got HJ out of the package and he looks very, very nice. He actually feels different. He feels smoother. You can just feel how glossy he is. I mean, look at that. Look at that shine. Whereas with the China version, it just kind of feels lame. <laughs> I don't mean that really against it, but it just is so smooth. I'm really infatuated with how smooth the Thailand version is. But anyways, I'll put a quick picture of HJ on the screen there from Cars 3. And we'll get right into it here. The expression is not the same, but because Thailand uses that black eyeliner, it looks a little different. But the models are the same. You got the vents, you got the grill. Now this is where things get a little spicy. They basically changed the gradient of the purple. So even though H2O, N2O, Cola is the same and this bottom part pretty much the same. This is darker. But anyway, up here it's way lighter. You can see this changes from dark to this light, whereas this is kind of like a lavender all about, and it's lavender up here too. Thailand gave it a nice gradient, which is, yeah, that's accurate, I'd say. It's kind of hard to see, but I'd say it's accurate. So that's very nice that they included that gradient now. Both have black rims, and I have to say Thailand, when they don't have to paint rims, they do a good job. These look nice and clean. You got light, you're on the text. And I'd say these actually look better than the Chinese ones. But I mean, if Thailand had to paint these like with JD McPillar, they did gray. Eh, they don't look so good, but it's funny. I have a whole bunch of black ones that they've done recently and they did a good job. Anywho, taking a look at the contingency sponsors. They're pretty clear. Piston Cup Combustor Carbon Cyber and Synergy. They're not as clear as these on the original Chinese, but they're still nice and clean. You can see some grain throughout this entire body, but you know, I think it still looks pretty solid. They added some depth to the 68 here. You can see there's a drop shadow, not present there. Same kind of thing with Cola. There's some sort of dark outline around it, which I like because you can read it better. I mean, the colors are insanely different. This is so much darker. This is a different shade of purple. It's gradient now. You still got the arrow indicating to the pit crew where to lift them up at. The exhaust pipes look like a mess though. Like look how clean that is right there. This looks like 
a cave. <laughs> Got the gas cap there. One thing they're doing now with all tile and next gens are incorporating the windows into the body. So you can see that this is literally metal, that's metal, whereas this is a plastic interior piece. But now they add the black window bars. You also got the roof flaps there, and again, the gradient, which was not present before. Spoilers are far different colors. Wow, I didn't really expect them to be this different. Wow, even on the back here, my goodness, the purple, it's just like lavender. It went from lavender to a more deep passion purple. And it looks great. I would take the Thailand version over the Chinese version. I would. The rookie stripes look nice and yellow. These are like orange. Eh. Here's your base. Man, the 221st day of 2017, that's what it means. This was made on the 30th and 30th week of 29, 2020, my bad, at the A factory in Thailand. I think he looks great. You know, there's a couple things I would change. I think it looks a little grainy on the sides and contingency sponsors could be clearer, but other than that, the decals and the color is so much more vibrant. I look at this and I see energy. I look at this and I see just bleh. Now comparing him to a couple other recent Thailand variants that you know I reviewed recently, JD McPillar, and let me know like which one is better. Honestly, I, I'm curious to know your thoughts. You got Aaron Clocker, who they did in the spring of last year, reviewed him. I think I opened Tim Treadless on a live stream and he's got this fantastic purple, or I might have opened him in my silver Tim video. Don't remember. But all these look great. I think these are the only like Thailand variant next gens I have opened. I like, uh, this is tough. I like Tim a lot, even though I don't think he's accurate at all, but I love kind of the metallic orange on him. They're all actually very appealing to look at. They're fun to look at. <laughs> Easy on the eye. Someone should make a meme where it's like, you know, like those memes, like where you're walking with your girlfriend, like you're walking with this girl and like you turn away from her to see the girl that was just walking by. And like, that's like me <laughs> with like anybody. And then just like a new tile and variant or like any new car. Like we could just simplify it down to a new car. Or you could even like make it like a Chinese variant. You're like walking with the Chinese variant, but then Thailand comes by and you're like, oh, you're infatuated with the Thailand version now. But anyways, that is really all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll pull up the team. Got the semi here. Got a custom crew chief, resin prototype pity. Got Parker Brakeston, Manny Flywheel. Yeah, the colors on this new HJ definitely match Manny more so than this one. This is like lavender, which is like crusty rotor. Excuse me. But anyways, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Thailand variant review. And I'll see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.